Extraordinary Dogs is brought to you by You Can Uber, where we believe all dogs are extraordinary. A large part of New Zealand's search and rescue is in remote locations. In this kind of terrain, four legs are better than two. Four legs and splayed paws mean the dogs are able to balance much better than us on unsteady ground. They're able to shift their, their body weight at speed. That provides them with that, that great you know, power of, of, of agility across rough terrain that you see. Balance and agility are further improved with strong hindquarters that are made up of the pelvis, overlying muscles, the hind limbs and the tail. This is where the greatest part of the energy required for the movement at any gait is generated and a huge amount of stress must be absorbed and directed. All this work means these dogs burn over 2,000 calories a day, as much as a full-grown man. Dave and Stig are fully trained for all aspects of wilderness search and rescue. Stig and I have worked and trained in, in the environments all around um, New Zealand, everywhere. The reason his agility is so good is because of his, his confidence um, to work in this type of terrain. Stig needs to train daily in this environment. It's vital for both team members to be at the peak of fitness. He's got that confidence to use his agility, four legs, bouncing down off cliffs and round edges. We can clear an area that might take humans um, a day to clear, we can clear it in half an hour. Dave and Stig are about to join other rescue dog teams on specialist avalanche training in the mountain range of Cadrona. This intensive four-day assessment is aimed at testing a dog's ability to work in these arduous conditions. Many of these dogs are Labradors, just like Millie, whose handler is Brendan. Generally, avalanches are large, broken blocks of snow. So you can imagine it's like climbing up over large blocks of, of debris. Millie is an exceptionally hard-working Labrador, who has been dispatched on a number of occasions to clear an area. In order to be allowed to continue to work, Millie must be able to use her olfactory skills in these extremely high winds and find a scent hidden deep in the snow. Just above that there was a track, there was a track, and we found a single track in the snow. Yep. Well, it could have been two or three people behind okay. each other. In an alpine environment we can be looking at winds of 60 to up to 100 kilometres an hour. Um, it's very difficult to work a dog once the winds get over 60 kilometres an hour because they they start blowing the scent oh, off the side. And it's mission accomplished for Millie. Oh, the girl! This is the girl! These extraordinary dogs are a valuable part of day-to-day -day life in New Zealand, from the urban sprawl of the big cities to the vast landscape of the mountain regions, 